two for the two men who want to be Georgia's next U.S. Senator. Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock are in a runoff since neither candidate won more than 50% plus one votes Tuesday night. News Center reporter Denny Stillen was in Canton where Walker held his first rally since the election. Walker made his first campaign appearance in this runoff here in Canton. Senator Ted Cruz was by his side. Walker said he did not get into this race to lose, and he's going to keep fighting. Herschel Walker is back on the campaign trail as Georgia's U.S. Senate race heads to a runoff on December 6th. We're in overtime. That means we got a runoff. Hey, I was built for this. Walker's first appearance since election night was in Canton. U.S. Senator Ted Cruz of Texas came to town to take the stage with him. The stakes in this race could not be higher. Walker said he's going to keep fighting because his opponent has not represented Georgians in Washington. Walker says all Warnock has done is represent President Biden. Less than two years. Y'all see what he's done to this country. Less than two years, he's done it to you, and he's going to do it again. He has him for six more years. Are you ready to do this one more time? Raphael Warnock, who finished ahead of Walker with about 35,000 more votes, spoke to a crowd in downtown Atlanta. Warnock said his opponent isn't qualified for the job. Herschel Walker has no vision for our state or for our country. Think about it, we've been running now for a little while. Yeah. And he is yet to tell us what he actually wants to do. Both candidates agree it's going to be a rough fight to the finish. They are going to throw every dollar at us that they can, every lie, every attack. Uh -huh. But I think we have something better. We have the truth. Yeah. And we have hope for the future. And he's thinking he's going to win. We need to prove him wrong. Not only will this likely be an ugly campaign for the next four weeks, it will be an expensive one. According to Fox News, Walker has already hauled in $3 million in this campaign runoff. In Canton, Denise Dillon, Fox 5 News. As we've mentioned, this runoff could determine control of the Senate for the second time in a row. The only way that doesn't happen is if one party wins both of the pending Senate races in Arizona and in Nevada. Early voting for the runoff between Walker and Warnock begins on November the 28th.